Abhijit Bharadwaj. My name is Nishant Goyal. And we are the students of Bharati Vidyapit College of Engineering, New Delhi. Our product, that is, Smart Shoes for People with Low Vision, is a noble approach towards providing an aid to the visually impaired people. Basically, visually impaired people had to depend upon canes for their mobility, but they feel bad because it stigmatized them. So, we have come with, up with an idea of smart shoes. Our product consists of mainly three parts, that is obstruction avoidance, part two, IoT, that is internet of things, part three, power harvesting mechanism. the obstacle avoiding mechanism of our product that is smart shoes for people with low vision. It consists of three parts. First, the microcontroller MSV430 which is an ultra low power code. Now comes to the sensor part which is an ultrasonic sensor and actuator which is a DC vibrating motor which provides an haptic feedback that recreates the sense of touch by applying vibration. The ultrasonic sensor emits the ultrasonic waves that are reflected back to the receiver from an object. The ultrasonic waves produce an actuating signal for the vibration motor. The vibrating motor produces an haptic feedback that is sensed by the foot of the person. Now you can see the working of the as you can see, the motor is vibrating when things come in the sense of an ultrasonic sensor. Now, in winters or in condition having low visibility, the range of visibility decreases. So, we have included an LED monitoring system. As the object is detected, the LED glows, thereby signaling the incoming vehicle that a visually impaired person is moving ahead. We are about to wake up to a new world. The world of the Internet of Things. Don't worry. It just means that objects will be able to speak to each other. They'll do our work for us. And look after us. Now, isn't that a nice thought? They'll be able to react to our movements. They'll understand when we want some peace and quiet. Or when we want to get information and news. Or just have a nice breakfast. In fact, the Internet of Things already exists. Many everyday objects are already part of it. Some a bit too much. Intelligent objects will improve our interaction with the environment. And our work. And as they're intelligent, why not have them do some work on our behalf? So we can concentrate on what we enjoy. Meanwhile, the objects will collect data and take care of us. And that's not all. The Internet of Things will help us save money. Do the shopping. For the IoT interfacing part, we had ordered a Zigbee module, but since it has not been delivered yet, so we are using an Arduino board as our secondary board. As you can see, the Arduino board has now right now been interfaced with the Ethernet board and that sensor we are using is a LM35 temperature sensor because it provides continuous feedback to the board. Now uh, the read temperature readings are being stored on an online database. As you can see, the database is giving real-time readings of the temperature sensor LM35. Also, the location of the person can be tracked who is using the smart shoes. So as you can see, real-time location reading can also be taken and it can be used by the near and dear ones of the person to track his location. 
This was all from the IoT part. Now I am going to show you the part 3 of our mechanism that is power harvesting mechanism. In this part what we are doing is we are using a piezoelectric that we, this converts the electrical mechanical energy into an electrical energy. Generally according to a survey people work according to uh, 7000 uh, foot cells per day. So what we are doing is we are using that wasteful energy into our use, useful mechanism that is that mechanical energy can be useful in, in, our, in our countries. So that, suppose this is an ankle of a person. He is applying a force to a piezoelectric. We are using a uh, three piezo in a series, and this is going to a bridge rectifier. This output is stored in a power bank. If we are, have energy in a power bank, we can do it. We can use it anywhere. So I am just going to show you the little demonstration of this. Uh, I am applying the force, and you can see the battery is just charging. of the smart shoe for people with low vision. We have exposed all the sensors and the actuators so that their working can be made visible. On one shoe, we have integrated the IoT mechanism to feedback the real-time values of the sensors to store them on an online database and also to navigate the location of the visually impaired person. The ultrasonic sensor is attached to the toe cap of the shoe. As the obstacle approaches, the ultrasonic sensor provides a feedback to the microcontroller that enables the feedback controlled LED mechanism. Simultaneously, the vibrating motor produces a haptic feedback to the person for indication. We have attached two IR sensors on the vamp of the shoe to detect the obstacle on either side. The base of the shoe has the power harvesting mechanism that converts the mechanical power generated while the person locomotes into electrical energy for later use. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed.